Hi everyone, it's Luann from Smart Tutoring here. I am coming with you today uh, with a fact question or um, an F FPSI practice test question. Uh, I'll read the question and then I'll take you through it. It says, you are using a full SCBA bottle containing 140 cubic feet of air. Your supervisor has informed you that a bell will sound when the tank is one quarter full. When you hear the bell sound, you can assume that your tank has blank cubic feet of air remaining. Okay, this is a tricky question. And there are a couple of different ways you can uh, solve this problem, but I'm going to show you how I worked it out. And I read it as a percent question. Um, and I'm telling you it's tricky because of the quarter there, like it gives you that fraction one over four. I read it as the tank is 25% full, right? And so what they're trying to get you to do is determine how much air you have when you only have 25% of your tank left over um, or left. So that's what we're going to determine. And because we're taking a percent approach, I set it up as a percent problem. Again, there are different ways to solve percent questions. So if this is unfamiliar to you, that's totally fine. If you solved it in a, in a different way, again, absolutely fine. So um, I put 25 over 100 to show or, yeah, to represent 25% over the 100% of the total tank. Um, and then on the other side of the equation, I put X over 140 because we know that 140 cubic feet of air is the maximum amount of air, the total amount of air we can put into our tank. So I line that up with the total percentage of 100. And then uh, from there, we can do the math. I cross multiply and divide in this format. So I um, first multiplied 140 by 25. And that gave me 3500. From there, I divided the answer by the remaining number, which is 100. So 3,500 divided by 100 gives me 35. That, in fact, is the answer. C, 35 cubic feet of air is remaining. So a couple of things here for you who are studying at home, you're going to want to review percent questions, particularly for the fact test um, and obviously the CPS test. And also you want to practice your reading of percent questions um, and just making sure that you can convert uh, quarters, like fractions into percents and um decimals is also something I would probably work on. We didn't get in on get into the decimals here, but it is something that you should know. Okay. Um, by the way, I do tutor. So if you don't know how to do this, give me a call or send me an email. Um, I can definitely set you up with some tutoring and then you can get on track with your firefighter test preparation. You can find me online at smarttutoring.ca. And also while you're here, hit subscribe. I'm going to keep coming back with practice questions so you can get some of the answers at home on your own. Um, and hopefully you can get some extra marks that way as well on your test. Okay, uh, thanks again for watching and I will see you next time.